Hey guys. Happy Monday. I love Mondays because Mondays give me a chance to rethink, um, you know, rethink my goals and things that, you know, I didn't able to accomplish last week. So I love Mondays. Thank God it's Monday. Thank God we made it to another Monday, guys. Now, here's, uh, here's you know, I'm a little frustrated, right? I'm a little frustrated um, because I feel like black people don't support each other enough, right? I feel like black people only support each other when it's time to get high, smoke a blunt, everybody can come together. You know, when it's time to turn up and go pop bottles and go to the club, you know, everybody can come together. But if your friend or your family member, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, if your family member has started a t-shirt business, they started a hat business, they started a MLM business, they started a singing business, guys. As the family member, right, and as the friend, we should support them, okay? Because the problem is, guys, is that black people, every dollar they damn get, guys, it goes right out of the community, okay? They'd rather go online shopping. They'd rather go buy them a Gucci belt. They'd rather go buy them a Louis belt, right? But I'm not gonna blame us for not supporting because we haven't supported each other at all for years. But here's the thing, guys. If you know better, do better, right? My cousin, I'm gonna support him. He started a t-shirt business. Now, whether I believe in his movement or not, all I'm gonna do is sow a seed by supporting him. Right? You sow seeds, right? So I'm gonna sow a seed by supporting him. So, you know, I have my products that I sell. You know, my aunt, she supports me. My grandmother supports me. My husband supports me, okay? So I have some friends, you know, some of my friends support me, not all, right? But it'd be a great thing if all of my friends supported me. It'd be a great thing if all of my family members supported me, guys. If you have a friend right now that sell Avon, or you have a friend that have a t-shirt business or a dress business, guys, support them. Go buy something, go to their website, go to their store, buy something from them, all right? Support them, guys. Even if you buy something a couple of times, you buy something one time from them. Support black business, guys. Okay, it's like pulling teeth with black people to support each other. They only want to get out together. They only want to do destructive things together. They only want to go to funerals together. They only want to go to weddings together, right? While we can't sit down and say, you know what, I got this product that literally can help your hair grow. Or I got this product that can help you go to the bathroom. Boom, here it is. Here, you coming to my store. I'm You buying something from me and we exchange it. I'm giving you the product, you giving me the money. The problem is black people never want to see black people go up. A black person never wants to see another black person rise. Sad, right? See, for me, I think in abundance, right? My cousin had a t-shirt business, I support him, right? I support them. I'm sowing the seed, right? I'm gonna stop going to the Chinese and get my nails done and I'm gonna find me a black girl to do my nails, right? Because I realize, you know what? The Chinese, they don't really give a fuck about me. They talk to people any kind of fucking way they want. So I'm gonna find me a black girl so I can support black business. So we can keep the money within the fucking community. I'm gonna find me a black girl to do my nails. For real. I already support black business by me going to this girl to get my uh, my, my 360 frontals. It's a black girl. Okay, support black businesses, guys. Okay, and then when you support it, right? Don't just don't just say, oh, you're gonna support it. No, actually spend your money with your sister or your cousin or your mom or whoever, your friend, your coworker who started a business. Don't look at them up and down. The, the problem with black people, guys, is that their minds are so small. We're so consumed with what you know the media puts out that we forget that we are our own community. We are our own people, right? We by ourselves, guys, can change this doggone nation. We by ourselves can, you know, put, you know, whoever we want to put in office, but we don't come together to do it. 
I'm telling you guys, this is a sad, sad thing. We got to support each other, guys. We got to support one another. Right? Black business. Support black business. Guys, it's like pulling fucking teeth all the time. I support black business. Okay? I support black business. Right? Now, I got a lot of friends and family that don't support. They don't support. They be looking up and down. Oh, my God. I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. But if they go to the store, they go to five and below. They go to the mall. They buy or everything they want to buy. So support your sister, guys. Support your cousin. Support your coworker. They had. See, the thing is, when you start a business, guys, obviously you have some type of vision that you want to fulfill for you and your family, you and your kids, right? Even for you, right, guys? Support me. Black business. Buy some tea from me, right? Get some. Get some NRG pills. Get some strike up in love, right? Go to my website, support, guys. The money can stay within our community, guys. We're a community all by ourselves, right? Don't look nobody up and down. Think in abundance. Think in a lot. Think in overflow. Because the reason black people don't support each other because they don't want to see nobody. So, so if I sell somebody a, a pack of tea, that's supposed to support me they don't want to see me have twenty dollars more than what they have because now they thinking oh i'm gonna take twenty dollars out of my pocket to give to you so i'm gonna have twenty dollars less you gonna have twenty dollars more but when you go to the louis store and the gucci store you don't say well gucci gonna have two thousand dollars of my money and i'm gonna be two thousand dollars broke you don't think that right but if you're supporting another fellow black person, oh, they're going to have $20 more than me. Oh, they're going to have $40 more than me. That's why black people can't get ahead. If $20 or $40, guys, is going to break you to support your family and friends, guys, then you might as well not even be family and friends with them anymore. You might as well just go hang yourself. Because here's the thing, guys. If you can't bless others and you can't be there for others, You're not living a fulfilled life anyway. I just told my students, I said, you become a lifelong learner, but you become also a lifelong supporter. Support people, support black business, support what they do, right? You got a car dealership that's black owned, go to that one instead of going to the white one. If you know them, right? Because of course, if you don't know them, then you can't go, right? If you know a nail tech that's black versus going to the Chinese, go to the black. Right? People say, oh, I don't like black people. Black people, they don't know how to do business, blah, blah, blah. That's all a facade. I'm a black person. I know how to do business. I've been doing business for five years. Bought a house, bought a Benz, bought cars, travel. I know how to do business. Support your people, guys. Support your people. We too busy supporting everybody else. We in Dunkin' Donuts every day. Why black people can't open up their own Starbucks or have a black owned Starbucks and go support them? Open up a black restaurant, go support them. Support black business, guys. I'm telling you, if your mom started a business, support her. Right? Your granddaughter started a business, support her. Don't look down at her. Right? And then tell your people. You know what? My grandmother started a business. She's selling tea and she's selling energy, uh, you know, supplements that's helping people. You should try it. Talk to people about it. Oh, I don't want to be pushy. People are so full of shit. It's a shame. You support them. And then now you post on your wall or you post on your social media to now support them. Right? And do it every so often, not just once in the blue moon. Because here's the thing. People post a whole bunch of bullshit on their wall anyway. So why don't you post something that's going to help you and your fellow black family member or friend or co-worker or associate? Nobody thinks like this, guys. Nobody, no one thinks anymore. You know, everybody's just interested in, you know, living check to check, li living, in a, living, living this small, living in a little house, living in a little car, and having a little brain, having a little money. No one thinks in abundance. No one thinks in a lot. No one thinks in full. Right? Because made by mind so small. So support black business, guys. Support black business. Support your fellow black people so the money can stay in the community so it can circulate. Because we make the money go out of the community as soon as we get it. As soon as you get paid, you got to go pay bills. Man, listen, I don't even really give a fuck about none of my bills, for real. Okay? Bills going to come. Bills are residual, guys. They going to come whether you die 
or you alive. Support black business, guys. That's my only thing. Support black business. All right? Go to TanishaOnlineClass.com and work with Tanisha.com. See you soon.